These days, workplaces are undergoing changes, as some call the trend office Big Bang era. Jumping in this trend, Korea's Jeju Island recently introduced a new type of office culture. Our, our culture correspondent Song Yujin reports on what that is. It's a typical workday on Jeju Island. Inside the seven-story building in Jeju City, Kim Sung-wook is busy at work. Kim works for the Jeju provincial government, but today, instead of heading to the government complex, he's here at a second office. So this is a Sotong Center or a communication center in Jeju City. So here, people can read books and try out a wide range of cultural activities like carpentry and cooking. But for some, this is another office. Kim is among the more than 60 participants in the Jeju Special Self-Governing Provinces Another Office project. In March, Jeju became the first local government in Korea to launch this initiative. The office environment has a profound impact on human behavior, cognition, and psychology. Yet, the public sector tends to be rigid, making it challenging to foster cognitive flexibility and creativity. So we started exploring alternative office spaces outside. Currently, there are 13 of these offices across the island, eight in Jeju City and five in Seokipo City. About 800 level six or below Jeju government employees are eligible to apply. They just have to select a date and location and sign up a week before. For them, it's an opportunity to enhance their work efficiency, which is why Kim sung wook has already used the program three times. Tasks like documenting last year's work require my full attention. In the office, I sometimes spend the whole day on something that could be done in one or two hours. Especially when my boss calls, I help out colleagues or receive multiple phone calls. So I saw another office as the perfect solution for staying focused. Communicating with my colleagues is not a problem as I can do so via phone, video calls, and online messaging. For the government, there is no financial burden as all of these offices are public or government-owned buildings. While Jeju is the only region that has adopted this system so far, this reflects a growing trend in Korea's workplace culture. After COVID, many companies have adopted remote working or working outside traditional office settings. Local governments, particularly outside the major cities, see this trend as a way to attract talent and boost their economies. Throughout the year, Jeju plans to open up more workspaces and expand participation so that more people can have their own another office. Song Yujin, Arirang News, Jeju.